Hello, my name is Oliver Coos, and welcome to today's series. And today's series is day one of five days homeless in winter. And currently, it's winter, it's cold, and it's winter. And I'm going to be sleeping on the streets, living how a homeless person is living on the streets. Because I want to bring some sort of homeless awareness to YouTube because there you get these people who raise a lot of money for a specific homeless person to get them a house and things like that but no one actually goes out of their way to be homeless living on the streets to actually see what it's like for them and I currently live in a van myself I'm practically a glorified homeless person so I thought well it's only one step further it can't be that much dearer can it I've got a bag and a coat, they're just to the side. Actually, to be fair, it's getting a little nippy at the moment. And it's what I've got for trustiness over this uh, challenge. Um, I've got a sleeping bag, I don't have any money, and that's about it. So watch me as I try and live homeless for a week, five days. <sighs> Let's get to it. Everyone As you can see, I've got my bag on my back here. It has my sleeping bag in. And apart from the odd time, I've never actually slept on the streets full time. And this is going to be going undercover as a homeless person. I'm trying my best, like, I've got a Star Wars top on, I've got a coat, I've just got a normal bag. I'm trying my best not to look homeless because I don't want to stick out like a sore thumb, especially with that. I've got a camera and I don't really want my camera to be taken. I've also got my phone with me and I've got a battery pack. So. Yeah, let's just uh, hope for the best of this challenge. Um, I don't really know where I'm going from here. Um, like, I'm at the back of a subway, if you can see there. There's a subway over there, so... It's just living homeless on the street. So far, so good, I guess. Like, I'm gonna have to find somewhere to sleep. Uh, gonna have to find ways to eat. And yeah. We can do this. On this challenge, the plan is to not get any help because homeless people don't really get a lot of help apart from people like me, who as you've seen in videos, I've done things for homeless people, giving them gift cards as well as care packages for Christmas. But no one's really done this, you know, gone out and lived on the streets. Not that I've seen anyway. And so I'm not having any help. And uh, you don't see homeless people sitting there all day, every day. So I've got to try and work out what do homeless people actually do in the day. I'm, I, uh, I'm a bit nervous, a bit excited at the same time. I guess one of the first things I need to do on this challenge is food. Because I haven't got anything to eat. So, where can I get food? I'm going to have to try and go for um, finding money on the street to buy some food. As well as looking for money. I, I don't want to go down the thieving route, so that's one thing I don't want to do. A lot of people do steal from shops, homeless people do steal. Of course, if you need to eat, why not just take it from the shops? Like, at the end of the day, they're a massive corporation, they're not going to miss a, teen, a tin of beans or something. I don't want to go down that route, so I'm trying to do everything as legal as I can. One thing I'm trying to work out is, what do I actually do on this challenge? Am I going to follow the path of someone who's homeless and they want to earn money? So do I start myself a mini business? Or do I just be a normal homeless person who's been destroyed by the council, they're not going to help them be housed, and they're just trying to get through life day to day? You know, a lot of people do live on the street and a lot of people have been screwed over, myself included. So, you know, I think I'm probably going to follow that path more. If I think, oh, do you know what, I can make a business out of this. Yeah, a lot of people can make a business out of nothing. Um, and maybe that could be another challenge video, but at the moment there's a lot of people who suffer on the street and a lot of people don't, after 10 years, don't have the willpower to do that. So, yeah. Okay, so if you can see this, basically I've found a trolley. Um, I think I'm under a car park, as, as far as I'm aware. I found a trolley, I've just been emptying my sleeping bag out because it's just been on the back. So, 
got something to uh, push it about in, which is pretty handy, I guess. Um, but it, you know, as you can see, it's a uh, see there is it's, it's dark out, so I need to find somewhere to sleep. Also, uh, oh, someone's coming. Pushing this trolley is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Like, it's just a nuisance. But I mean, um, it's somewhere where I can store myself. It's grabbing trolleys, it's grabbing trolleys, just that casual. Just. I mean, carrying this trolley is just a, like a bit of a nuisance, but I mean, the fact that I can just put it to the side it's just so much help, like, it, I don't know, so, yeah, I don't know, you see them, like, homeless people, they've got trolleys all the time, does this go outside up here, is there another inside section, no, there is not, so people have trolleys to put their belongings in, and, you know, I've only got my sleeping bag, and my bag, but I mean, I don't know if I'll be carrying my sleeping bag all round, uh, tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day, so, I guess it's just, something. Hang on, there's a stairwell over there. Sleep in a stairwell. There's one there. Yeah, I, I've chosen not to choose the stairwell because there's just too many people walking up and down it instead. I think for tonight, definitely, I'm going to stay here um, in this car park complex. Like, it's not really the nicest of pleasing. There's even spider webs hanging off that and yeah. But I found this nice corner here. Right, it's a bit dark. Okay, so you can see now with the torch. Right, it's my phone. It's got a little bit of battery still. Um, so I'm going to stay in this corner here. I'm trying to be quiet. Uh, is it wet down there? I'm hoping it's not. No, not really. I haven't found any cardboard around. And uh, a lot of, hang on, can I bounce that somewhere? A lot of homeless people have cardboard, and I know it's to insulate you from the floor, but I don't. Um, so, for tonight, definitely I'm not gonna have insulation, which is great. Um, but yeah, so I'm just gonna try and set up down there because that's probably the best thing I can do. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is probably, probably gonna have my bag in the sleeping bag with me. Um, there's only one car in this car park at the moment where it's, can you see it there? So I shouldn't really be disturbed. But yeah, like, there's some rubbish and stuff about, but I mean, homeless people live like this. I'm trying to be homeless but be safe at the same time, I guess. Um, because I'm, you know, I, I live in my van, but I mean, it's not, you know, that's practically homelessness as it is. But I mean, on the streets is full on. And uh, yeah, in a minute, is this corner a bit safer? Uh, this corner here, um, it's a bit damp. I don't, I don't know whether to go behind the bars or not. But you know, for an extra bit of safety and like a bit of disguise. I can't get down. My shoulders are too big. I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Oop, I'm not. Haha. <sighs> <sighs> Okay, here we go. So I put the sleeping bag out here and I've got this bit of wall here with the trolley here. Um, you can see it's kind of like protected. I've kind of put it behind the wall so I just can't be seen a bit. Oh, that's bright. So once I'm wrapped up in the sleeping bag, I mean, it's not going to be the end of the world. Uh, just hope I don't get robbed in the night. <laughs> I mean, like, I've slept on the grass in Kiev out in the middle of the night in winter, and, you know, that was probably better than this. <sighs> Every car that I can hear, it just scares me at the moment. I don't want anyone coming into the car park, I don't want to be robbed. 
I just want to be safe. I just want to be safe, so if I just put the hood over, and then the hood, maybe I won't be seen, and I'll just be a little bit more protected. Fast forward, like, I don't know, an hour? Oh. <sighs> um, I'm still in the car park. It's very uncomfortable and it's actually cold. Like, I'm in the jacket, but I'm, it's, I, I'm hot in my, in my coat and in the sleeping bag, so I've undone it here, as you can see. But I mean, now I'm hot again. No, cold there, but hot here. And it's, it's really confusing my body temperature and I can just hear cars. Yeah, one's coming into the car park. Oh God, please don't. Please don't come over here, please stop. I just want to, I just want to sleep. I just want to sleep, please just keep going. It stops in the corner. They stop there. Oh no, they're going up, they're going uphill. I just want to sleep. I just want to sleep now, I'm just tired. And I can't, there's just too many cars. And I just, I'm just not feeling great. I wonder how people sleep in the centre of Brighton. Like, I guess you get used to it. Maybe tomorrow night or the next night I'll be used to it, but right now I'm not. And I'm just here, and I'm just like, that's cold, <laughs> that metal bar is cold. Can I put this up? There we go. Nope, come on. Sleeping back up. <sighs> I don't even know if I want to sleep. I don't even know if I want to sleep. It's, it's such a difficult situation. Five days is long enough for me, it really is. Um, <laughs> one day is long enough for me. I like, don't get me wrong, like, I'm practically glorified homelessness as it is. I, you know, I, I sleep in my van. Um, I don't, you know, I've got as much luxuries in my van as I do here, except in my van I can charge my phone. That's about it. So, there isn't much difference, and I just, there's not much difference here. But I feel safe from my van because I know I'm hidden. Um, yeah, it gets cold, and don't get me wrong, it will be cold here, you know, this is blooming winter, for goodness sake, it's December. Um, like, I'm clenching my fist at the moment, I, I, I did this in the Ukraine, I clenched my fist to try and heat up my blood in my hand to get warm around my body, I don't know if it works, but that's what I tried doing in the Ukraine, that's what I'm doing now. Because uh, I don't have any gloves, I don't have a hat. <sighs> I just don't know, <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to work out, do I end the video here, or do I carry on into the night, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm so tired right now. Can you see the, the black under my eyes there? Uh, I'm so tired. I just can't sleep. The thing is, it's not even that it's cold. Like, I, 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 don't, I like a hard sleep. Like, like the concrete's not the issue. I wouldn't mind a pillow, don't get me wrong. Um, but I mean, I just, I just, I keep hearing people walk. The people are walking through here. Um, there are people who sleep on the streets, right? Like, I'm not someone who's slept, you know, well, apart from in Kiev. Um, I mean, there's not really been a time where I've gone, do you know what? Let's just go and sleep on the streets. Um, you know, my van, I feel safer because, you know, it's my space. But people living on the streets, how the hell do they have, they don't have their space. I don't have my space. I've got, I've got, I've got, you know, this is still here amazingly. I'm surprised it hasn't been nicked. Oh my god, I moved my legs now. Even my feet cold. Like, I'm in shoes. I was holding the warmth in my body it's like this. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm going to end the video here uh, from this car park. And uh, I'm going to try and get some sleep. And, uh, yeah. I show her. I shall see you guys all in the next video, which will be up, well, I'm recording it five days in a row on this camera, and then taking the camera, when, I'm, when I've got my computer back, I'll be editing it all then, so, and if I choose to do it one every other day or next day, the next video will be up next, so, just, that's cold, adios my mis amigos, goodbye. What you yelling for? Lay back, it's all been done before. And if you could only let it be, you would see. I like you the way you are when we're driving in your car. And you're talking to me one on one. But you become somebody else, grab everyone else. You're watching your back like you can't relax. You're trying to be cool, you look like a fool to me.